Hello everybody, welcome to The Lost Engineers. Today I'm going to be showing off my new mod pack. If you hear any humming in the video, I'm sorry, it's something wrong with my settings and I'm not sure how to fix it. So the idea behind this mod pack is you're an engineer in a big city and you are out on a job that would take all day driving out to fix a power station or something. And so you have all your gear, which you start out with. You start out with like a little bit of clothes, of course, some water, a lunch, nice pickaxe actually if I do this then that, then that. some tools a revolver because you're going out in the woods and there's a big storm and there's a car crash and that ends up you end up knocked unconscious and then you wake up the next day in this brand new world no road no car no idea where you are and it's a world full of magic now there's a lot of mods like Ender, Zoo, uh, Grimoires of Gaia, and then there's of course magic mods because you wake up in a world of magic and there's dungeons and Thumecraft is in here of course and Twilight Forest but you also have Tinker's Construct, Flaxbeard Steam Power, Galacticraft, um, Railcraft, I wanted a lot of multi-block structures, so you'll find that um, uh, Mine Factory Reloaded, you'll find, oh, the Joffa Factory, I love this mod, you'll find that single block power gen has been disabled in for immersive engineering multi-block, which is really cool. Uh, there's some more Galacticraft, uh, Botania, of course and you just have to survive so I'm making this video these are by the way you'll always start with this starting inventory now there is a, some aspects of this that I wanted to make hard such as you don't get a um, oh there's a villager over there I never knew that you don't get a mini map you have to use this and if you lose it you're in pretty big trouble so I recommend making a backup and you can clone these things I actually was told this by the mod maker which I asked if there was a way to make it stick with you because I couldn't find a way but that's okay you can clone it and then put it in a chest now I'm gonna show you a build that I've been working on here my cat she just started to really be snuggly because we got her about a year ago as a stray and now she is like lovable and all in so here we have uh, this is mostly this is if you played as a tech oh he's gonna kill me Okay. This is if you played the techie side. So here we have the excavator, which is an awesome little machine. So I just built this just to show a little bit of the pack, and that's powered here by the diesel generator, which I think is the highest tier generation system. And diesel, oh wow, some of my glass vanished. I wonder why that happened. It wasn't a type of glass that should vanish this glass and that's weird um that's okay so here we have the arc furnace which I thought could cook the dust but it can't and the crusher those are also powered by the diesel generator mostly because the arc furnace requires a lot of power look at these lamp posts and we have a defense system here which is pretty awesome and then if we come over here this is where we're making the biodiesel. So again, lots of multi-block structure. Even farming. Now, um, farming, automated farming is done with, um, I wonder why they're not shooting them. They should be. Unless they're not config. Huh. That's weird. They should be shooting them, but they're not. I'm going to have to look into... Oh! Something's being shot. Maybe it's... Be, maybe they would shoot him if I turn... If I actually had him attack. But here's my little base. And some stuff. There's some stuff in here I want to show you. So first, let's... Clear my inventory. Oh. And then... Let's get back in survival mode. There we go. Oh, 
that's right, I have a back turn. Those things have some crazy defense, don't they? But that's okay, because I wanted to show you... this gun. This is also part of immersive engineering. Now, there's a lot more powerful magic key-based stuff, but let's see, what are we loaded with? Empty casings. Now, this this is the immersive engineering revolver, so let's reload. You can see it reloaded with these magical bullets. This is actually the only magic thing I'm showing. These bullets trace, which is awesome. Oh, as you can see, if you look outside, it is very dark. That's the Hardcore Darkness mod. However, one thing you want to remember is, or one thing that's useful is, while we also have Hardcore Darkness, we have Dynamic Lights. There are, even is some gear that you can wear that makes lights. And I've, I've added some stuff to the list, so you can get lights. Now, let's look at some Power Gen but I want it to be daytime. So there's other types of ammo for this that are awesome, but we're not going to worry about that. There's a mining drill and stuff, but I want you to figure all this stuff out for yourself, so we're not, I'm not going to get too heavily detailed into it. So if we come up here, as you saw, these tracking bullets are pretty awesome, but they're expensive to make, and they, I think they're made with Britannia, which is cool, but... The bullets will actually trace targets here. I'll show you. Watch, watch, watch. See? I didn't aim at it, and it still traced it, but now he's after me, and I don't have any more ammo. Let's see if we can get another speed loader. Oh, we got something here. Oh, a shotgun, and there are my lasers. Alright, so now let's jump into creative. This is wind generation which is just beautiful. I mean, look at that. That is amazing. I wanted this pack to be big and epic. Oh, there's supposed to be chickens in this, but the glass from here vanished as well. I must have been using a type of glass I removed. I did cut a few mods, though I could have sworn I was using chiseled glass for that. Or not chiseled, um, Tinker's Construct glass. This clear glass? Maybe not, though. So my chickens escaped? That's okay. So, I'll show you about that later. And then over here, we have, like, the wind turbine, another beautiful power gen system. There's a pirate ship dungeon. I'm not going to show you the dungeons, because that's exploring. You want to explore. Now, like I was saying with these, now, I count Mine Factory Loaded as multi-block, because you do need several blocks to make it work. And you can always add more blocks to it if you want. So I like to count it as multi-block. That's why I said it. Now the reason is there really isn't any really big multi-block farming mods. And you need farming because hunger is a thing in the pack. I'm not sure which hunger mod I use. And thirst is also a thing. So back here you can see my ducks escape. That's funny. Here we're collecting up water and we're delivering it into the... This is a factory, by the way. I'll show you this in just a sec. Here there's power gen because the power gen I was using those... It wasn't getting all the way over here, and and um, here's my hemp seeds. I don't. I think the way this is set up is it only keeps eight seeds, and I don't know. It's just not getting power. Why is that? The harvester has power. Did I? Oh, I broke the connection. Hold on. What type of? What are those? Those are MV, and I bet that I left an M a a. a I bet I know what's wrong. These wires, they're another thing that's just beautiful. Look at this. Now this might not work, but it might. Sometimes if the connection is obstructed, that direction it works going down. Now it should start replanting. There it goes. So, now this is a neat uh, moving system. There's no pipes in this pack. You have to use conveyor belts. There are two choices of conveyor belts. I decided that... At least I think I did. There, Yeah, there's Mine Factory conveyor belts, and then there's Immersive Engineering. The only reason I left both in... I thought about removing these ones, but to be honest, they do look pretty good. And these ones... 
you can get, I believe, a specific type of boot, and then you won't get sucked up on them. Whereas these ones, you can't do that. And the recipe's so similar. I mean, you just get more with this, but then you also need processed rubber, which is a little, you know, you still need processed iron. So it's really up to you. And then multi-block liquid storage. This is the only type of liquid storage. And the only way to move liquid is with tanks or a system like this. Or not tanks, carts, or a system like this. Oh, one thing, um, this will only make sense if you actually, if you know how these drills work. The easiest way to make these work is you have to first do a core sample. So what you want to do is hit F9 twice, and that'll bring up, that'll bring up these blocks. Do your core sample right in the middle, because the way those find ore is they don't actually dig what's below it. They dig based on the chunk it's in. So you want to test this chunk. If there's ores in this chunk, put your digger right in the middle, you'll get the ores. If there's not, move to the next chunk, put your digger right in the middle, you'll get the ores. But always put it in the middle because if part of this is outside the bounds of the chunk, it might not work. And I've had that problem a lot. So F9 will bring that up, and F9 again will make it go away. And as you can see, it digs up really well, which is awesome. Now let's get to the best part about this build that I've been working on. So when I designed this build, I just cleared my inventory, but that's okay. When I designed this build, my goal was to automate the production of three types of Jaffa cakes and three types of juices. Now this is what it takes to auto-craft in this game. Bear in mind, we're only making six products with this little factory. We're making these Jaffas here, which I believe actually now end up here. Yep. Now, I don't have them being packaged because there's a bug, and for some reason they always get packaged as null, which the null Jaffas are fine, but you don't get just flavored ones back out. You only get plain ones, which is boring. Now, this is a neat system I set up. You can shut off these connections here. This is um, the storage drawers, which is the bulk storage system of the pack. I have a sticky piston behind that wall, and that sticky piston pulls or removes these um, trims which you can use to connect um, different things together, different storage systems together. So if we flip this, we'll see that it should start running. See there's milk and paper going through and other stuff and everything's running and it's auto crafting down the line and it should be putting it probably ran out of vegetables or fruit already because my farms are really small. As you just saw, a bottle go through there, so we're getting some juices. The juices do run out awful quick, so the system isn't perfect. You, What you really need is what you need is you need this side to turn off for a while so this side can turn on because I'm using the same fruit to make Jaffas that I use to make juices, so you should have one turning off then the other turning off. But as you can see, the automation works pretty well. Eventually it gets down the line. Now in here is more of the automation. This is cooking. This is probably what's slowing it down. And this is, of course, the Flaxbeard Steam Power mod, which is also another really good mod. So if we're going to use up some of this, we might as well. Uh, you can play around with this one. This is in here because... The Steam Powered mod is in here because there's really no good armor in Immersive Engineering yet. There might be eventually, but there's not yet. And the Flaxbeard has a lot of really good it has a really cool armor set and you need the multi-block steam generation to make it so it fits the multi-block you can make plates that are magic and plates that are tech so while i tried to keep magic and tech of this pack a little bit separate i think in your armor and your defense it's okay to mix now another thing you'll know is the main tools of this pack are tinkerers now but you, there is the Iguana Tweaks, or I think it's Iguana Tweaks, that gives it the tiered system. However, you start off with bronze, provided you don't lose these in the beginning, which is very possible, because knights are scary. So, you do get to skip some of the having to find these and some of that stuff. And if you can find a village, you can also, um, you can also, um, skip some stuff too. Now, village villagers or villages will 
start to dislike you if you steal from them. I did disable direct attack. They won't initially attack you. But if you get a low enough reputation, the guards of the villagers, villages might. So, and each time you pick something up in a village, there's a chance that you'll lower your rep with them. And rep lowers fast in villages. Just like if you're a vampire with witchery, you could get attacked. So you might not want to steal from villages unless you're willing to wipe that village out or have that village turn on you. So that's something to keep in mind. Time to die, duckies. Oh, I broke my hopper. Oh, is that... Why is that like that? See, that's the one thing I've had a lot of trouble... Get, whoops. Go. Oh, I didn't know you could shift to make yourself not move on those. Useful. That's one thing I've had a lot of trouble getting to work, is these buckets. They're supposed to return to that to be refilled. And I've had some trouble with that. I'm not sure why. But then I'm not the best builder, and I'm not the best at these tech things. But that's the Lost Engineers mod pack. You can download it on the Tech It uh, launcher. Uh, information's on the form, which is where you'll see this video, so there you go. And there is a bunch of magic you can play. I've not shown it, but there's Botania, Witchery, and Thumecraft. And Thumecraft has the mon Th Thumic Horizons, uh, Tinkerer, um, here, just quickly. Oh, no, that's not the right one. So you've got Thom the uh, let's see, you've got the Eldred stuff. No, that's not. Um, Tinkerer. Uh, I'm not sure which one this is, but it's had some amazing stuff. Horizons, Warden, Witchery, ga or Witching gadgets. So it's got a lot of add-ons. So there is a lot of magic aspects of the pack if you want to go that route. It's completely up to you. Um, so just enjoy it and have fun. That's gonna be the end of the video. Um, I didn't say who I was. I'm Alice Lupo, and I make mod packs, and I used to, used to, sometimes I'll make YouTube videos. I might do a series on this. I don't know. We'll see. Just enjoy the pack. That's going to be the end of it. Ciao for now.